my ability. Today we are focusing on abilities, but some people face challenges greater than others. We're here at Menai High School to explore the issue. What does the word disability mean to you? Um, I guess it means just not being able to have the ability to do certain things, whether it be physically or mentally. Not being able to be at your full potential, your full ability. Whether you, if you can't walk, if you can't um, be able to do physical activities, sporting doesn't matter, or even if mentally in class if you have trouble with um, listening or learning. So give us some examples of disabilities. Um, so you could have just broken your leg and you're in a wheelchair for a while and that's going to affect how well you can move around or it could be a mental disability where um, you can't think how everyone else would think. Down syndrome, multiple sclerosis, I don't know, there's a few, there's a lot, there's heaps. Do you think people can connect with a disability? Well, if they're not disabled, then no, because you, don't, you haven't experienced it firsthand, so you can't really show how you know it well if you've never experienced it. This is Sammy. Now, Sammy, tell us a little bit about yourself. I'm 16 and I'm a student in Year 11. I was born with cerebral palsy, which means I can't walk. So basically I went from a stroller to a walker to a wheelchair and I've never been able to walk because I was born four months earlier than I was meant to be born and yeah. What challenges do you face in everyday life? I never really think of anything as a challenge because I've had nothing to compare it to. I've never been able to walk so I don't know what that feels like or what it would be like to have a life where I was walking and doing everything normally. So everything that other people may consider a challenge, I just consider as me doing normal things that I would do throughout my day. Do you get frustrated when you see people walking around? Yeah, sometimes I feel like it's just a little bit unfair when I see people walking around doing things that I wish I could do, even if it's just getting on a bus to go somewhere really easily, that's a struggle for me. So I do get a little bit frustrated, but you just gotta take it as it comes. What challenges do you face in everyday life? Well, everything I do is basically harder. I just have to put in a little bit more thought and effort into everything to get to where I need to be. I rely on other people a lot to get done what I have to do, and that's just basically it. Where do you see yourself in the future? Uh, you know, going to uni when I'm done with school, definitely that's something that I want to do just for myself. Hopefully getting a job that I can, you know, do and achieve well in and stuff and be independent as much as possible so I don't have to rely on others as much as I do right now. And that's it, yeah. Thank you, Sammy. No problem. What are the issues with disability? It's unfair that some people are disabled and others aren't. Sometimes it's people with more ability than those that have a disability. Sometimes, so there you go. Many, many, many people with disabilities um, have huge capacities to contribute to, to our society and um, make our society great. Comes through disability, depression is one of the most common forms. What is it and how do you change it to an ability? This is Jen Ellis, a clinical psychologist. So tell me, Jen, is depression a disability? It's definitely a disability, yeah, because about one in four Australians suffer from depression at some time or another, um, and it tends to really limit and affect what they can do. What is depression? Well, depression's not just about being sad. Um, it's a, an illness where your brain function is affected, and it affects your mood and your emotions, your thinking, your ability to concentrate and focus, um, the way you see things and perceive things, your energy, your enjoyment and your, uh, your motivation and drive. Our focus is ability, so how can a person turn depression into ability? Well the first thing you need to do is recognise that there's something wrong and get some help. And then I find that people that work with me on their depression um, often become very insightful people. They learn a lot about themselves, they learn a lot about how they tick, what they want from life. And also it's a great way to learn a lot about people and really increase compassion, I suppose, for other people and what they struggle with. 
Don't diss my abilities. When it comes to abilities and disabilities, everyone is different. But at the end of the day, we're all people. It's important to look at the person before their ability. I'm Jacob. And I'm Victoria. And, and we're, we're from Menai High School. school.